In this video, I am going to solve this system of linear equations using the substitution method. Before I solve the system, let me uh, touch on um, the possibilities for a system of linear equations. In our case, we have two equations, meaning that we are dealing with two straight lines. Okay, so in this scenario, three things could happen. First one is that we have unique solution or one solution when the lines intersect at a single point, one solution. Second one is no solution, meaning the lines are parallel. And the third solution is infinitely many solutions. In that case, what happens is that uh, the lines overlap. So, I have used dot to show that two lines overlap, so infinite solutions. These are, these are the three things that could happen. Now, our objective is to figure out here, sort of simplify these two equations or this system of equations to the point we can figure out whether it falls into the first category, second category, or the third category. And it's not too hard to do. Uh, what we need to do, take the given equations and simplify it. So I'm going to take the first equation, one-third x plus three-fourths y is equal to one over six. And I'm going to multiply it by the LCD of the denominators. So 3, 4, 6, LCD is 12, times 12, times 12, times 12. 3 goes into 12, 4 times, that gives me 4x, plus 4 goes into 12, 3 times, then 3 times 3 is 9, 9y is equal to 6 goes into 12 twice, that's 2. So that is the equivalent equation of this one. Now let's do the same thing uh, for the other one. So, LCD here is 10, 2, 5, 5, 10 LCD, so 1 half x, 1 half x minus 2 fifth y is equal to 1 fifth, I multiply everything by 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, 2 goes into 10, 5 times, 5 times x is 5x, minus 5 goes into 10 twice, 2 times 2 is 4, y is equal to 5 goes into 10 twice, is going to give me 2. So that's the equivalent equation. Now, these two equations I need to solve using the substitution method to figure out which category, which one of these three categories does it fall into. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to solve for just one of the variables. In this one, I'm going to solve for x. And I'm going to skip through the uh, calculations, and you know how to do it. So if I solve for x here, I'm going to get 2 minus 9y divided by 4. So I'm subtracting 9y from both sides, from this side and from this side, subtracting 9y and then dividing both sides by 4. That's going to give me this. And now I'm going to take this value and plug it in there. So it's going to be 5 times x. So 5 times x. But instead of x, I'm going to put 2 minus 9y over 4 minus 4y is equal to 2. Now, to make my calculation simple, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 so that this 4 and this 4 cancel out. And I have only 5 times 2 minus 9y minus this is 16y is equal to this is 8. Now, it's much simpler. 5 times 2 is 10 minus 5 times 9 is 45 y minus 16y is equal to 8, then 10 minus uh, 61y, because 45, negative 45 minus 16 is 61, is equal to 8. I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides, 
that's going to give me on the left hand side negative 61 y on the right hand side negative 2 now I divide both sides by negative 61 that gives me y is equal to 2 over 61 okay because this negative 61 negative 61 cancel out negative negative cancel out that gives me y so we have a y value that means we also have an x value so I'm gonna I could go ahead and take this value and plug it in here and get the corresponding x value but I don't need to do so here because all I wanna know here is whether it falls in this category this category or this category obviously this has a unique solution unique x and y so this is going to be the first category. That means it has a unique solution. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.